in immunology, an antigen, or antibody generator, is any substance which provokes an adaptive immune response. An antigen is often foreign or toxic to the body which, once in the body, attracts and is bound to a respective and specific antibody. That is to say, an antigen is a molecule that also induces an immune response in the body. Each antibody is specifically designed to deal with certain antigens because of variation in the antibody's complementarity determining regions. Paul Ehrlich coined the term antibody in his side chain theory at the end of 19th century. The term antigen originally came from antibody generator. The antigen may originate from within the body or from the external environment. The immune system is usually non-reactive against self-antigens under normal conditions and is supposed to identify and attack only non-self-invaders from the outside world or modified harmful substances present in the body under distressed conditions. Cells present their antigenic structures to the immune system via a histocompatibility molecule. Depending on the antigen presented and the type of the histocompatibility molecule, several types of immune cells can become activated. Antigen was originally a structural molecule that binds specifically to the antibody, but the term now also refers to any molecule or molecular fragment that can be recognized by highly variable antigen receptors of the adaptive immune system. For T cell receptor recognition, it must be processed into small fragments inside the cell and presented to a T cell receptor by major histocompatibility complex. Antigen by itself is not capable to elicit the immune response without the help of an immunologic adjuvant. The essential role of the adjuvant component of vaccines in the activation of innate immune system is so-called immunologist's dirty little secret as originally described by Charles Janeway. An immunogen is an analogy to the antigen a substance that is able to provoke an immune response if injected to the body. An immunogen is able to initiate an indispensable innate immune response first, later leading to the activation of the adaptive immune response, whereas an antigen is able to bind the highly variable immunoreceptor products once these have been produced. The overlapping concepts of immunogenicity and antigenicity are, therefore, subtly different. According to current textbook notions, Immunogenicity is the ability to induce a humoral and or cell-mediated immune response. Antigenicity is the ability to combine specifically with the final products of the immune response. Although all immunogenic molecules are also antigenic, the reverse is not true. At the molecular level, an antigen can be characterized by its ability to be bound by the variable Fab region of an antibody. Note also that different antibodies have the potential to discriminate between specific epitopes present on the surface of the antigen. Haptin is a small molecule that changes the structure of an antigenic epitope. In order to induce an immune response, it has to be attached to a large carrier molecule such as protein. Antigens are usually proteins and polysaccharides, less frequently also lipids. This includes parts of bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms. Lipids and nucleic acids are antigenic only when combined with proteins and polysaccharides. Non-microbial exogenous antigens can include pollen, egg white, and proteins from transplanted tissues and organs or on the surface of transfused blood cells. Vaccines are examples of antigens in an immunogenic form, which are to be intentionally administered to induce the memory function of adaptive immune system toward the antigens of the pathogen invading the recipient. Related concepts, epitope a euro the distinct molecular surface features of an antigen capable of being bound by an antibody. Antigenic molecules, normally being large biological polymers, usually present several surface features that can act as points of interaction for specific antibodies. Any such distinct molecular feature constitutes an epitope. Therefore, most antigens have the potential to be bound by several distinct antibodies, each of which specific to a particular epitope. Using the lock and key metaphor, the antigen itself can be seen as a string of keys a euro any epitope being a key a euro each of which matching a different lock. Different antibody idiotypes, each having distinctly formed complementarity determining regions, correspond to the various locks that can match the keys presented on the antigen molecule. Allergen a euro a substance capable of causing an allergic reaction. 
The reaction may result after exposure via ingestion, inhalation, injection, or contact with skin. Superantigen A Euro A class of antigens that cause nonspecific activation of T cells, resulting in polyclonal T cell activation and massive cytokine release. Tolerogen a Euro A substance that invokes a specific immune non-responsiveness due to its molecular form. If its molecular form is changed, a tolerogen can become an immunogen. Immunoglobulin binding protein a Euro These proteins are capable of binding to antibodies at positions outside of the antigen binding site. That is, whereas antigens are the target of antibodies, immunoglobulin binding proteins attack antibodies. Protein a Protein G, and protein L are examples of proteins that strongly bind to various antibody isotypes. T-dependent antigen A Euro T-dependent antigens are usually proteins. They require an assistance of T cells to induce the formation of specific antibodies. T-independent antigen A Euro T-independent antigens are usually polysaccharides stimulating B cells directly. Immunodominant antigens are the ones that dominate in their ability to produce an immune response. It is commonly assumed that T-cell responses are directed against a relatively few immunodominant epitopes, although at least in some cases it is dispersed over a relatively large number of parasite antigens. Origin of the term antigen, in 1899, Ladislas Deutsch named the hypothetical substances halfway between bacterial constituents and antibodies substances immunogene zoo antigens. He originally believed those substances to be precursors of antibodies, just as imogen is a precursor of an enzyme. But, by 1903, he understood that an antigen induces the production of immune bodies and wrote that the word antigen is a contraction of antisomatogen, equals imunca paragraph Rockabildner. The Oxford English Dictionary indicates that the logical construction should be anti, body, gen. Origin of antigens, antigens can be classified in order of their class. Exogenous antigens, exogenous antigens are antigens that have entered the body from the outside, for example by inhalation, ingestion, or injection. The immune system's response to exogenous antigens is often subclinical. By endocytosis or phagocytosis, exogenous antigens are taken into the antigen-presenting cells and processed into fragments. APCs then present the fragments to T helper cells by the use of class II histocompatibility molecules on their surface. Some T cells are specific for the peptide, MHC complex. They become activated and start to secrete cytokines. Cytokines are substances that can activate cytotoxic T lymphocytes, antibody secreting B cells, macrophages, and other particles. Some antigens start out as exogen antigens, and later become endogenous. Intracellular antigens can again be released back into circulation upon the destruction of the infected cell. Endogenous antigens, endogenous antigens are antigens that have been generated within previously normal cells as a result of normal cell metabolism, or because of viral or intracellular bacterial infection. The fragments are then presented on the cell surface in the complex with MHC class I molecules. If activated cytotoxic CD8 plus T cells recognize them, the T cells begin to secrete various toxins that cause the lysis or apoptosis of the infected cell. In order to keep the cytotoxic cells from killing cells just for presenting self proteins, self reactive T cells are deleted from the repertoire as a result of tolerance. Endogenous antigens include xenogenic, autologous, and idiotypic or allergenic antigens. Autontogens an autontogen is usually a normal protein or complex of proteins that is recognized by the immune system of patients suffering from a specific autoimmune disease. These antigens should not be, under normal conditions, the target of the immune system, but, due mainly to genetic and environmental factors, the normal immunological tolerance for such an antigen has been lost in these patients. Tumor antigens Tumor antigens or neoantigens are those antigens that are presented by MHCI or MHC2 molecules on the surface of tumor cells. These antigens can sometimes be presented by tumor cells and never by the normal ones. In this case, they are called tumor-specific antigens and, in general, 
result from a tumor-specific mutation. More common are antigens that are presented by tumor cells and normal cells, and they are called tumor-associated antigens. Cytotoxic T lymphocytes that recognize these antigens may be able to destroy the tumor cells before they proliferate or metastasize. Tumor antigens can also be on the surface of the tumor in the form of, for example, a mutated receptor, in which case they will be recognized by B cells. Nativity A native antigen is an antigen that is not yet processed by an APC to smaller parts. T cells cannot bind native antigens but require that they be processed by APCs, whereas B cells can be activated by native ones. Antigenic specificity, antigen, ic, specificity is the ability of the host cells to recognize an antigen specifically as a unique molecular entity and distinguish it from another with exquisite precision. Antigen specificity is due primarily to the side chain conformations of the antigen. It is a measurement although the degree of specificity may not be easy to measure, and need not be linear or of the nature of a rate-limited step or equation. See also, antitoxin, conformational epitope, epitope, linear epitope, magnetic immunosay, neutralizing antibody, original antigenic sin, Paul Ehrlich, magic bullet, polyclinal B-cell response, priming, notes. External links, antigen retrieval protocol, Immunology, National Library of Medicine Medline website